So this is an example of uh, the UART, usage of UART, and we want to look up some information about the UART registers. Uh, let's look up the integer baud rate register. Yeah, sometimes we give you code and you don't know how it works, so you look up the registers. Okay, so we go over to the data sheet, and we'll use our searching technique that uses the bookmark. Okay, so the bookmark, again, uh, is a list of all the, all the pages. Okay, so this is chapter 14. There we go. This is chapter 14, and we're going to look at the registers, which is in section 14.6, and we're looking for the integer part of the baud rate. There it is right there. Click. Okay. And so here it shows us what this register is. We can see that it's 16 bits long, and it is the integer. Can we look up the fractional part of yeah. as well? So together, uh, the integer part and the fraction part set the baud rate. So let's see that. Okay. So here's the fractional part there. Uh, and it turns out that we can combine these two to get the to get the baud rate and we can see right here that there is a baud rate generator information and so I can click it so often we can click around and so this is the formula that we talked about earlier that calculates the baud rate given both the integer part and the fractional part this is the same information that we presented earlier but this shows you how to look it up in the data sheet all right let's go back and look up some more in this code, we see it uses the flag register. So let's find the flag register. The flag register yeah. is being used to check whether the hardware FIFO is f full or is it empty. All right, so here we are using our bookmarks to find the flag register, FR. So we click on it, and this will tell us all of the flags that are in that register. And we can see that that particular code was using the uh, RxFe. So let's go down and look at RxFe. So here is the RxFe bit, and we can see that uh, if it's zero, that means the receiver FIFO is not empty. And if it's one, that means the receiver FIFO is empty. That's how it works. So in the output, we can see it uses a different bit, the TXFF bit. So let's look it up. The TXFF bit is right here, uh, telling us that if it's zero, the transmitter is not full. And if it's one, that means the transmitter FIFO is full. All right, you try. Don't be afraid of the data sheet. Don't fear the data.